Oh my god. So this box just came in from my friend Duke. He had said that he had sent me a little box of stuff. I thought he meant a little box, like maybe, I don't know, uh, the size of that box, you know, <laughs> something about this big. Okay, maybe a little bit bigger, but definitely not this big. And he had asked me today if I've heard anything, and I hadn't, and then next thing I know, I heard a thump outside my front door, and here it is. So I've only untaped it because his address is on the front and my address is on the front, so I've just untaped it, but I haven't opened it yet. So I'm going to make this so that I can upload it and show him and you guys. Um... I'm just going to say straight off the bat, thank you so much, Duke, for sending this. This is absolutely amazing. I I love mail, period. Um, except for junk mail. I love mail, and uh, this is going to be a treat. It was quite heavy. <clears throat> kind of beat up damn post office people. But let's get started. <sighs> I see stuff that I didn't know you got already. Oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> pork skins and red hot pork skins. Oh my god. <gasps> sour cream and onion rich chips. We don't have sour cream and onion here. Bugles! Oh my god, I love bugles. Oh, I haven't had those in so long. Cheddar and sour cream. More pork skins! Pork skins here are so expensive. They're like three, four dollars for a 25 gram bag. This, oh my god, this is awesome. Oh no, I dropped it on the floor. Um, bread. Oh, I've been so looking forward to this. I don't even remember what American bread tastes like. I'm so stoked to try that. And then more bread. Because apparently American bread tastes sweet. And so, yeah, I want to see now that I've been here for 10 years if I can taste the difference. I didn't even know they made these. I saw a picture of these in the store when he was there. And I was like, I want to try it. This is going to be like sex in my mouth. <laughs> That's going to be amazing. Oh my god, more cracklings. Cracklings are healthy, by the way. They're really good for you. So they've got no carbs or anything. <gasps> Chili cheese burritos! Oh, I love this flavor so much. And regular Fritos. I love regular Fritos. They do have a kind of Fritos here, but they're like this weird Asian barbecue flavor. And that's just disgusting. But this is really good. Oh, beef jerky too! I love beef jerky. We have beef jerky here, but I, I don't know. It just doesn't really kind of taste the same. Oh. Oh, Smuckers. Smuckers. There's nothing like that checkered pattern. They don't sell jelly here, and they don't sell grape anything. It's um like boysenberry and things like that. This will be where the weight came from. <laughs> Jeff, peanut butter. Oh, extra crunchy. So that must be for Logan because I said Logan likes crunchy. That's really sweet. And creamy for me because I like creamy. Oh, that's really nice. He'll like that. Um, snowballs. Oh, I haven't had snowballs since I moved here. Again, this is something that they don't sell here. They have like an American store. You could probably find that and Twinkies at, but they're about $5 a piece. So, oh, I love Twinkies, too. Oh, and I love cupcakes, too. You must have gone and snuck through my list and saw other stuff that I wanted. Because you've got me everything that I love. Oh, and a big bag of chips. They don't sell sun chips here, either. So that's going to be amazing to go through. And Funny Bones. This is also something I've never heard of. But I saw a picture of frosted peanut butter cream filled devil food cakes. Frosted peanut butter cream filled devil food cakes. That's going to be really good. I'm like 
shaky. I'm so excited. <laughs> like my, my hands are all shaky. Oh, powdered donuts. They don't sell this here either. I know these little things you take for granted over there, the little donuts. They don't sell glazed donuts here, and they don't sell like powdered donuts. The kind of donuts they have, they taste more like, I don't know, like completely different. Oh, this is what I've been after for years and years and years and years. This is like my favorite snack of all time because I love peanut butter stuff. They do not like peanut butter here, so you will not find peanut butter snacks very, very rarely. If you find stuff, it'll be like peanut butter or peanuts, but not peanut butter snacks. It's very hard to find and forget. They have these, these wafers here, but they don't have chocolate on them. They're like the strawberry or the vanilla or the chocolate flavored. Very thin, very dull. I hate them. And every time I see them, I think, oh, I miss the li little Debbie, but they'll never have them here. Ooh, spicy sweet. I like spicy sweet stuff. That is cool. Last bag. More cracklings. Oh, this is going to keep me in a good supply of cracklings. I don't think I'm going to run out of food for at least a year. <laughs> More chili cheese. And they feel so heavy and sturdy compared to the chips here. It's just such a difference. Slim Jims! I got sent a um, my friend Gabriella and her boyfriend at the time had sent me a box and they had some donuts and some Slim Jims in it and stuff. But that was years ago and I haven't had a Slim Jim since. I love pretty much all flavors of Slim Jims. Slim Jims they also don't have here. <laughs> Nothing even similar to it. Oh, Frosted Cherry Pop-Tarts. They do have these here but I can't get them because they are so expensive. They have a generic kind in the store that sells American stuff, but it tastes nothing like original Pop-Tarts, and I haven't had original Pop-Tarts in so long I don't even remember. They also don't sell cherry-flavored stuff here because nobody here likes cherry stuff. Oh my god, oh my god. I just saw something. Oh, sour cream and onion again. They don't have Lay's, and they don't have sour cream and onion. They have sour cream and chives, or just sour cream, but it does definitely taste different. This... Oh my god, this is what I have been waiting for for 10 years. 10 years now. Oh, I am not going to want to touch this because I don't want it to go away. Oh, I feel like crying. I love American cheese so much. I don't know what it is, but the cheese here is all white and it's really kind of, it's either really bland or really strong, but it has a and overly, because it's, it's all natural, I don't really like all natural food. I, I grew up on preservatives and food coloring and fake food, and that's what I love. You know, whether it's me being a fat fuck or not, I don't care. It's what I like. And they had craft here for a short while. They were white, but it tasted nothing like this. This is my childhood right here. My mom occasionally let me have craft, and she'd open it. And um, she'd give me one piece, and she'd tell me not to eat anymore because I'd get fat, and I'd open it, and I'd always sniff it, take it out, fold it into little pieces so it lasted longer, and I'd make these itty-bitty little squares and peel them off one by one and just savor it. And then as I grew up, you know, of course, grilled cheese sandwiches and everything, and the way that it melts is not like any cheese that they sell here. You cannot really have a good grilled cheese sandwich with what they sell here, but here I can have a grilled cheese sandwich. And I can have some American cheese and some American snacks and some flavors that I haven't had in almost 10 years. And um, I have gotten some snack packs from people before. Uh, and I love everything. But this specifically was everything on my wish list or in my album on Facebook uh, of my wish list or stuff that I picked out myself. Um, so this is all stuff that specifically I've been really craving lately and you can probably hear my voice is all wavering and shit. I'm I'm like so overwhelmed right now I feel so stupid but when you're away from stuff you love for so long and you see it it's just like a taste of home like this is America in this box here and even though America's kind of gone to shit it'll always be my home and to see stuff like this it's just like America you know <laughs> um 
if you have never moved away and been away from a place you love or your home, you won't understand what it feels like. These things that you guys will see all the time in the supermarket, you just can't find here. You can't find anything like this here. The, no flavors, the familiar shapes, the familiar everything, you just, you can't find it. And to see it, it's just like home, I guess. There's no other way to say it. It's home. And um, right now with what we're going through with uh, Logan losing his job and everything, this was a really perfect timing box, really big pick me up and thank you so much. I just, I'm so in love with everything in here and it couldn't have come at a better time. What a nice surprise to wake up to. I'm crazy, seriously happy right now and uh, I don't know how to thank you. I didn't expect the box to be this big. I thought it was just going to be like, you know, a couple of those little things and like peanut butter and a little bit of bread. <laughs> I didn't expect all these extras and so that was a really, really, really nice surprise. And I know this cost an arm and a leg to send you and I'm really sorry. Um, but I just wanted to make a video of this so that you could get my reaction at least as I'm opening it because it would be a lot better than me just saying, oh, I got your box. Oh, wow, thank you. Because that will not convey how much this actually did mean to me. And, um... I just wanted to say thank you again a billion times over. Thank you. Thank you to anybody who's ever sent me anything. Um, but especially thank you right now for this. Uh, I really needed this pick me up. And um, I, I, I'm just going to go and upload this and let you know that the boxes come in. And uh, take care. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.